Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thought I'd just make a quick video on how to connect to Hoyon. It's not too difficult since you don't need a VPN in order to actually do so. And it's been a little bit fun. You just basically need the purple launcher and the installer for Hoyon. So if you get those two files, which I'll have linked in the description also, then you can pretty much just set up and play. You do need to also make a Japan account. Which you can easily set up by changing the region on the top right of the purple launcher, so it's not too difficult. Now, it's a gacha game, so I recommend you not spend your money on it. And also, it's nothing like the original Blade and Soul, so another reason not to spend any of your money on it. But, it is fun nonetheless. So this is the RTS part of the game, it's where you have all your gacha characters fight in the arena, and you choose the formation and stuff. You can set that up a little bit uniquely. For PvP, you just defend with a set formation. And then for attacking, you actually control your units. For the PvE, sometimes there's unique mechanics like bombs will pop up, or you'll need to like avoid using AoE for a certain amount of time, focus on killing them individually, or otherwise you do like AoE to your party. So there's some mechanics on the PvE side of this, and this was overall engaging and pretty fun. I enjoyed this. Some of these animations are just amazing. I just love looking at them. Like, I mean, come on, look at Fluffy. You cannot love Fluffy. He's the best character in this game by far. And also this raccoon. Oh my god. Look at him both. Just look at them. How can you not love them? I played this game for them. <laughs> but I mean, it's pretty fun. It's not too bad. The gacha elements are horrible though. Like, they try to get you to spend all your currency so fast to your gems. It's pretty bad. But the gameplay is pretty fun. This is the main combat you'll be doing throughout the game though, and it's kind of reminiscent of Blade and Souls, but a little bit scuffed. It's fun, like I enjoy it, but you know, Blade and Souls combat is so much better. I wish they would just make a proper Blade and Soul game, but you know, or just fix Blade and Soul, but anyways. Gameplay here is not too bad. You have joint attacks that you build up by using the abilities of your cast. There's mechanics that are going off that you have to dodge or you know should go somewhere and you have to go interrupt her with a joint attack by using multiple skills at the same time and then you'll build up a joint and just launch the joint attack to stun them it's required you actually have a healer in your party in this game too sometimes even two healers helps a lot too if you're like aoe farming but there's like a mentor system to where you can level up your other cast members and they mentor off a higher cast member. So you don't have to worry about that too much. And you can transfer gear pretty easily, so no big deal there when it comes to leveling up any of them. You can just, you know, transfer levels, so it's not that bad. Some parry mechanics too, to where you dodge on red and you'll get a buff or an enhanced cooldown depending your patreon which is your little pet there your little like mini can have a different effect overall though the game's decently fun for a gacha i recommend you not spend your money on it again but it's a little bit of fun i will give it credit where credit is due and the combat is decently fun and it kind of challenges you pretty early but you also get gated pretty early to where it's just like you're gonna want to have to buy some like arena tickets to do the bosses and stuff you know shit like that so i recommend you don't do shit like that and you just save up your tries and just play as a free to play and it's you know kind of fun that's all you need to know to connect though so i'm going to